Ugh, how freaking dope is this? Oh, so about 250 million years ago, the ancient lineage of sequoia trees like these beauties we have here were the most populous trees on the planet, comprising a majority of the forests that existed at this time. Now, these are all members of the Cupressaceae family, which include present-day trees like western red cedar, cypress, sugi, and many others. And this is before the evolution of the Pinaceae family, so long before trees like spruce, fir, or pines even existed. Now, the species of sequoia that we still have present with us today didn't start to evolve until around 130 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, but but these are all trees that are similar to what would have existed during the era of the dinosaurs. And when you take a look at the type of structure and the ecosystems they can create, you can see how they would have functioned with a lot more megafauna present back then than we have today. See, these trees are absolute beasts, just dominating the forest canopy, leaving very little room for species to really take hold in the understory, which ends up creating this really widely spaced forest, which would have provided ample room for big tyrannosaurs and brachiosaurs and triceratops to lumber about comfortably within these forests versus the smaller, more dense and complex stands that we see in other mature forests these days. So pretty wild just to look back at this and think of the types of life that would have been utilizing these places as home for millions of years. And it kind of makes you appreciate the present moment just a little bit more and the adaptability and resilience of life as it evolves over time. How friggin' rad is that?